believe it's already round number eight. Well, uh, two minute rounds, we mentioned. They had to pick up the pace because of two minute rounds. Um, uh, Fujin Reich is running out of time right now, and she knows it. Look how she comes out for this round. Absolutely, right in front of us here. Beautiful uppercut by Layla, the left hand. And that's actually something I was going to say at the end of the last round is that Fujin Reich seems as if she's, she's primed and ready to be caught with an uppercut, the way that she's running in with her head down. And I would believe that Luis Tapio would have told Layla that in her corner. Well, that's a great point, Brian. That's a great point you make with her head down like that. And also, not on her head down, but the way she holds her gloves, if there's one place you can attack her is right up the middle, actually. I think, I think the only thing Raiha can do about, about right now is throw punches and try to knock Lila out, or she's going to lose the fight because Lila is so smart throwing these punches, and uh, she don't risk nothing. See, and that's the thing right now for Raika to give herself a chance. <laughs> Wait, Brian, you were, you, you were so accurate with that uppercut. You just saw it again. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, you, you said it as well, though. I mean, she's primed with the way that she holds her gloves of being hit with an uppercut. Yeah, right up the middle. That's the way to attack her. And uh, now the thing is, right now for Rika, she's in a point where she's just going to have to take chances and, and stuff. And she's going to give herself a chance. And, you know, she's going to have to gamble. And, boy, it's hard to gamble against someone like Layla McCarty. so opportunist. Man, I, I can't say enough. I really cannot say enough about just how technically sound Layla has been in boxing. And she's, every round she's come out with something that had it, that's been an answer for anything that, for a question that uh, Fujin Raika has had to ask her. I'm just telling you, Luis Gomi, he's the best lightweight champion of the world right now, Layla McCarty. Yeah, listen, I mean, not only that, I mean, when he's saying that, he's not just talking about women either. He, that's a statement about her technical ability. But listen, I mean, Brian, there's no substitute for experience. We mentioned this is her 50th professional fight, and over 49 fights, this young lady has really honed her craft. Absolutely, and to end round number eight, Layla hit Fujin with a couple good body shots. Don't worry about the uh, uppercut that she heard that their fighter is getting hit with because Layla is throwing a beautiful uppercut. I bet you one's coming up right now. too, Brian. Look at that jab. And there's the uppercut <laughs> right behind it. Wow. Brian, you, you're looking like a genius right now without prediction. Um, you know what? What I think that some of that complaining has to do with frustration because right now it could easily be said that McCarter might be pitching a shutout. Absolutely. As the corner of Fujin Rika taking the time getting out of the ring. But the cut has been stopped, which is good. We didn't want anything like that. And Layla McCarter is boxing a beautiful, beautiful fight. Yeah, well, Layla well, told us she's going to send this girl to Japan. You know, she's doing it the way she said it. Now, this is just a masterpiece. You know, we've seen a little bit of everything today, as we mentioned. We saw some fights that maybe weren't so technical, Brian, but were fought with pure determination and heart. Right now, what you're seeing, though, is the very definition of boxing right now. This how is about, the art. Exactly. How about Layla throwing the right hand and ducking under and stepping away? Beautiful. I, I love the way she fights. You know, we see fighters that they knock, they go they go away, but Layla goes away, but first she puts some damage on Fuji. No, and you know what? Some fighters move just to move, but with Layla, her moves always serve a purpose. This, I'm telling you, this is just a clinic. You, If you had a young man and you teaching them the art of boxing, you could put a tape of this fight on and make them watch Layla McCarter apply what is really the sweet science. Why it's called the sweet science? This is it right here. Absolutely. I really can't say enough as we're winding down in round number nine. Layla, of course, is being is being chased by Fujin Raika, and she's tattooing her beautiful right hand on the way in. Take that with you. No wonder why they call it amazing, Layla McCutter. Hey, you're right. She has been amazing tonight. <laughs> She's been amazing tonight. It's just, you know, I can't say enough about it because, again, the quality of opposition is Another, incredible. Look at, the, look at the right oh. hand. Look at the right hand, the straight right hand. Layla is picking Fujin apart. And the thing is, is Fujin is open for it because she, she's really doing a, a Ricky Hatton in a sense, just running in. Well, right, right now, Brian, she doesn't have a choice. She needs a knockout to win this fight. And as we mentioned, that puts her in a position where she has to gamble. And, you know, gambling against someone that's so opportunistic as Layla McCarter, it, you know, could put you in bad. And this is where we're at right now. Fujin is in a bad situation to be right now. And you can see Layla is kind of sitting down on some of those punches as Fujin comes in. Very clever game plan by Layla. She, she's uh, putting them together here. But uh, you got back to that right hand. Timing and, and the angle of that punch was, was, well, like her nickname, amazing. There you go. And hey guys, can you believe it? Round number 10 is already here of the championship fight between Layla McCarter and Fujin Rika, Brian Salmon, Carlos Medina, and Jaime Estrada. This has been a great fight to watch. Layla McCarter has boxed a gym 
inside of this ring. Boy, fireworks the rematch, uh, but all the most fireworks have turned out to come from one corner, and you know, it's been the right corner, the USA corner, uh, you know, we're, uh, and since we're celebrating in the America's independence, it's been, uh, you know, Team USA, if you want to put it that way, that's, that's launched all the fireworks tonight. You know, no, no, not to uh, disrespect the tremendous effort of, of uh, Fujin Raika, who now is bleeding from her nose, nose as well, guys. Right there, Layla kind of bent down to, to grab Fujin as she came in, and I believe that she, her shoulder hit her in the nose, and you could tell uh, Fujin was in pain as soon as that happened. But I don't think it's Layla full because look at, look, look at the way Fujin is coming out to her. She's coming out to be uh, an accident, head back. Well, I mean, look, it's nobody's fault. It's just a thing. This is boxing. boxing. These exactly. things are going to happen. Exactly. But, uh, but uh, you know, Fujin, I think, is well aware of the fact that she needs a knockout right now, and she's trying her best. But by coming in that way, she also puts herself in a line of fire. Wow. Layla is really just tattooing Fujin on the way in. I mean, she knows the fact that where Fujin is going to be, she hits her, and then she gets out of there. Oh, uh, Fujin like it right now in every way in her face and her body and her demeanor looks every bit like somebody who uh who has uh, had a long night tonight uh, she's been shaping and shaping but it just seems like she could never cast the elusive layla mccarter another left hand by layla but she go ahead and, and, and say a beautiful positive for virginia in this fight she's oh, kept course. coming forward she's kept coming forward the entire fight she hasn't given up she's come forward but Layla McCarter is just too digging, much digging to the night. body, digging oh. to the body. Layla, like everything. She's oh. amazing. She yeah. is amazing. Oh, Fujin Raika has fought gamely. She's fought with heart. She's even fought at a high technical level. Oh. But at the end of the night, she was just outclassed by, you know, just one of the fight, finest fighting machines there is in the entire world of boxing. All right, guys. let's take a listen to this crowd as they give Layla McCarter a round of applause for a great, great fight. After 10 rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges, Adelaide Bird, Dick Kalk, and Robert Hoyle, turn in identical scorecards, 100 to 90, for your winner by unanimous decision. And still, GBU and WBA Women's Lightweight Champion of the World, amazing Layla McCarter! She's a point as one of the greatest Woman boxing in the world. Lala, amazing McCarter. Oh, and she, she, she really let the world know everything that makes Layla McCarter a great fighter. We're going to go to Brian Stamo, who's ringside, or in the ring, I should say, with Layla McCarter, our winner tonight. All right, folks, we're inside the ring here with Layla McCarter. Of course, amazing is, is probably, that, that's not even the best adjective to describe inside the ring here tonight. You box beautifully. Was your, was your uh, mode wanting to just kind of catch her on the way in because you were boxing so well? I wanted to establish the jab early. I wanted to start with the jab because I know she's a very strong puncher and she has a little trouble with the angle. So I wanted to establish a jab and see if it, I could open something up. But man, she made it tough. She made it so tough. She was pushing the whole fight uh, from start to finish. And I just have so much respect for Rika. I mean, for your 50th fight, what do you have to say to the people in here that came out here to watch you? Obviously, you heard the crowd yelling and clapping their hand for a tremendous performance. Hey, this is my crowd. I love Las Vegas. I love all you guys for coming out and supporting me once again, whether it be here, somewhere else. You guys are the best fans in the sport of boxing. Thank you so much for the support. And actually, it was, it was dubbed Fireworks, the rematch, appropriately named for our Independence Day, which is coming up tomorrow. But tonight, inside the ring, you showed fireworks with your beautiful jab, your, your uppercut. And later in the fight, you threw a lot of uppercuts. Was that something that your corner told you to do to catch her on the way in? Not really. It just kind of came because she was open and through the middle. And I, I saw the opportunity to throw a good left uppercut. And uh, I was a little off, I have to say, because I've been off for almost a year, as you know. Uh, but it felt good to step back in and shake off some of the rust. And next fight, I'm going to give you guys even more fireworks, I guarantee it. And with the help of my promoter here, Tony LaMonica, from American Boxing Promotions, this is what America is all about. He gives women the opportunity to be the main event in the greatest country in the world. I, lo I love the USA. I love my promoter and my team, Luis Tapia, uh, Raul Morales, Mike Top Dog Ortiz, all you guys. And everybody I didn't mention, I'm sorry, but uh, not enough time. There's so many good people here. Well, there you go. One more time, everybody, give a round of applause to all the fighters, including amazing.